He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. For. I'm not freaking out! Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Uh, sorry, um, can I hold your hand? <gasps> I can sense someone's presence. Doing in my house. Uh, You're. Oh, uh, good, good evening, sir. Uh, we, uh, we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? We're just friends. Uh, friends nowadays get that close to each other. <laughs> That's not it! This, um, uh, things happened, and... You kids are here, too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked, too. We could hear the TV, though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes, because I'm getting old. Um, excuse me, there's something we'd like to ask. Huh? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here, isn't there? Yeah. My daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san, too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize, if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. <sighs> I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here.
Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. Alone? What about her father? There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. Did she die? Yes. She committed suicide. Suicide? Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out. Futaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that, but I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared, even when nothing was happening. She'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah. Her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, 
Can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. It is possible. Um, yeah, it's possible. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat, after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning, after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. I just remember, Yusuke doesn't go to our school, so he doesn't have to do anything tomorrow. No way in hell he's abusing her. <laughs> the reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. <laughs> ah, Morgana snuck into Futaba's room. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Where'd Morgana go? <laughs> oh my something. god. What a sneaky cat. What a damn sneaky cat, man. Anyways, yeah, so Futaba, at a young age, lost her mom because she committed suicide. Um, it's kind of, honestly, I think, I feel like Futaba's story is probably one of the saddest stories. Like, she has one of the saddest backstories that I've ever witnessed in this game so far like he gets fucking dark and and deep and it's sad but uh I'll like I really love her story even though it's it's a very tragic one but something good comes out of it at the end so you'll you'll get you guys will see you guys will see anyways we can't do much so let's go to bed this is this is my favorite part of the game I love from July onward. Oh my god, it gets so good. Alright, let's go to bed. But yeah. Oh, Morgana's back. Were you just gonna go to sleep without even wondering where I was? I take it the chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now. How'd you know that? Where were you? You can't underestimate my intel, intel gathering skills, you know. I was checking out the chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. What was she like? 
She had long hair and a pretty young sounding voice. Well, I say young, but I think she's probably about the same age as you guys. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief, and she can hack into our chats too. Even if she can't take Medjet down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. What an odd girl. In any case, we'll need to rely on Futawa to get closer to Medjet. Okay. Let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? They were an unseen enemy. Then how was Medjid... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. You still doubting me? <laughs> you have quite the wit. Very well, let's continue. We've yet to determine how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjid, seeing as they are unseen. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. It seems Sai Nijima is starting to seriously listen to what I have to say. Damn right you should! Damn it! Sai is so hard-headed. Alright, All right, we got rank 2, Judgment. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. Wakaba Ishiki's? Oh, I never knew her full name. <laughs> what a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Wakaba Ishiki. So that's uh, Futaba's mother. If you didn't know. I can't. I remember when I used to go to school, and they used to have all these useless ass assemblies when shit went down in school. <sighs> like telling everyone, like the most common sense shit. Like don't say anything you shouldn't say, or don't spread false rumors. And they're like, oh, make remember that you're part of the school, so you reflect on the school as a whole and whatnot. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, we fucking get it. Now let's, can we get, can we go home? <laughs> oh, man. That was elementary school, though. They, I don't think they did it in high school. Oh, Big Bang Burger. Ooh. Oh, thank God we got to skip it. Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. The same clothes he wears every time. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Thank you, Makoto. Jeez, everyone wants to make small talk. Like Morgana. Like, can we talk about how Morgana was like snuck into Futaba's place? Well then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. Maybe to check on Soji? It's just like Boss said. She's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. 
We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So, do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died, too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why's that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? So what is... yeah, what? Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. What is the what? What? Important <laughs> memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? Are you sure you're human? That's not important! I'm talking about my memories here! I... definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? I'm just lucky. You sure live up to my expectations. I can sense a firm resolve from Morgana. Ooh, Ace Tools allows you to craft all in- Oh my god. Allows you to craft all infiltration tools? Oh, right. baby. With that skill... Well, you'll see. I shall just tell you. Hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. With that skill, we can make a skeleton key, which means we can have an unbreakable lockpick. I forget what you actually need for it, so I'm gonna probably uh, look it up and then buy the necessary components so I can make it, so we don't have to make lockpicks anymore. Which is kind of bad in a way, because you won't get proficiency. But there's other ways to get proficiency. So, anyways, let us continue. But yes, yeah, so we can get a skeleton key. Sweet. Now, the last keyword. She's a shut-in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? No. Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit? Maybe an oasis? Nothing so far. In that case, how about hell? Really, Yusuke? We don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can. Come on, let's go see Futaba. But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. Is that breaking? It? That's breaking and entering. You have to be joking. What's the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What if? What if we run into Boss though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions this time. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Getting cold feet, Makoto? 
Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We'll go we've gone through loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in contact with the Kirokun. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him. Okay. Very well, let's do this. We have no choice. This is Futaba's room. Private, do not enter. She has caution tape. Futaba chan, you're in there, right? There's no answer. How did Morgana get in? Oh, he probably snuck in when Futaba came out of her room. Futaba chan, are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. Ah, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Is it Alibaba? Why are you here? Why is she only reacting to that name? You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself. Just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Okay. All right then. All right, we got we got through to her somehow. Makoto is a pretty good persuasive person, I, I guess. <laughs> Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. She's very persuasive. I guess she is the uh, student council president after all. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. What do you want to hear? Um, how was living in this house? It's painful. Why? I don't know. Looks like you should ask something different. It's painful. Do you hate it? I don't. Looks like you should ask something different. Damn it! Why don't you go out? I can't leave this place. I'm going to die here. Is this going to continue? Why do you think that? Why? This place is my tomb. Tomb? You think that's it? Try entering tomb. Uh oh, we got it. We got it. Nice. Was that enough? Yes. It was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? I haven't. We, we made a deal. Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. You idiot! Don't activate it here! Isn't? Okay. Well, thanks, Ryuji. <laughs> Futaba was like right around the corner, literally in the in the door. He activated it. It's a desert. Whoa. Yeah, we see that. Wait, what the? Our, our clothes are still the same. Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. This is true. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. Yep, the, yep, the palace ruler does not see us, see us as a threat, so... But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Mm, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the 
complete opposite of Kaneshiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh yeah, there's something shiny. The tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? Of course not. My paws will get burned. I've been waiting for this. I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. Morgana has AC? That's pretty badass. You're so considerate. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, let's roll. <laughs> Beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. Hey, On, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. How are the guys? Oh. <laughs>